There we go. Hello, hello everybody. Today I have a lovely surprise for you and I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Well, what's left of it guys. <laughs> I just want to show you the texture of my Nutella. My God, I have been working so hard to get this Nutella the way it finally came out. And now, because I was able to do this, I'm going to share my recipe with you. Otherwise, I was not going to share it because either it's a little too runny or it's a little too crunchy. So you have to have the right ingredients to get it to the point that I got it. And it really is not hard to do. And when I tell you this is delicious, as you can tell, this was a full jar. There's less than half, thanks to my husband. Ready, guys? I'm going to show you how I made this. Very simple. Mm, very good. Dangerously, <laughs> dangerously good. <laughs> I tell you, have just a little bit, guys, because, you know, sometimes we could get carried away with this. Okay, so unfortunately, we're going to have to use two things. Instead of doing it all in one, I tried once the Vitamix but it was so hard for me to get to the bottom. I don't know if you have a shorter Vitamix, maybe that'll work for you. But I find that by using the food processor and then uh, using a Nutribullet, it came out to the perfect texture. So we're gonna start off with, sorry guys, maybe I'm yeah, making it a little difficult for you, but that's how I found works the best. And I wrote everything down so this way we will not go wrong. We're gonna have all the measurements for you. We're gonna start off with some of course, uh, hazelnuts. Now, hazelnuts, when you buy them, they're going to be raw. You want to be able to toast these. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hazelnuts, you're going to put them on a baking sheet, and you're going to put them in the oven 350 for about 15 minutes. And then you're going to put them on a towel, and you're going to just rub them and get most of the shells off. If there's a little bit of that dark shell, it's not the end of the world. But that will give you more of a bitter taste. But we love it. Even with the shells not completely gone, we still enjoy it. So we're going to start off. And I'm going to use my half cup measurement because it's easier for me to do it this way. So we're going to start off with, whoa, let's come back here. Okay. That's. One, talk about having the right amount. Well, uh, one and a quarter cups of hazel hazelnuts. One and a quarter cup you need. And we're going to start off with this. And we're also going to add half a cup of cashews. Now you're saying, if you're putting hazelnuts, why are you putting cashews? Well, the cashew is going to make this even more creamier. Otherwise, it's going to be a very watery mess. So we're going to put half a cup of cashews. Now, I didn't even bother soaking mine. I'm okay with it. But we will put, here we go, half a cup. I got to get myself, okay, half a cup of cashews. And this is going to give you that perfect, perfect texture that we are looking for. Trust me, I've made this recipe over and over again and was never satisfied. As I would add these certain ingredients that I started to add, it all started to come together. Now, it's never going to be identical to that Nutella that you buy at the store, but being vegan, we can't have that Nutella. So we'd have to make it ourselves, guys. And I'm telling you, this Nutella is pretty pretty close to the Nutella that I remember. Mm. Every time I go check it, it goes in my mouth and then on my hips. Okay, so we've got the hazelnuts and we've got the cashews. And to this, we're going to add, so this is what I've got. I basically have about half a cup of chocolate chips. Now you're saying, why don't you just put the powder? Well, by adding these, it makes it creamier, guys. You can use just the powder if you want. If you're okay with that rough-looking Nutella or that watery Nutella, then it's up to you. I, you know, I'm, I'm just telling you what I did to it. Now, you can change it up how you like, but this is 
what I did to mine and it came to the texture that I arrived but I've made many and they were many flops we still consumed it as either a syrup or whatever but this is what I find worked the best for me so in it goes okay now we're gonna close this up put it on the food pro uh, food processor and we're gonna get this as broken down as we can if I would put this straight into the uh, Nutribullet I would have to be shaking it continuously so I'm just gonna put this right in my uh, food processor and get it going because this eventually what happens is your nuts will start getting almost creamy like uh, oily and that's when you can take it to the next level where we put it in our Nutribullet if you do it before that you're gonna be shaking that machine and you're going to get frustrated so why get so frustrated over it just put it in your food processor and work from that and if you're okay with putting all of this in your Vitamix go ahead do it too but you do have to go in once in a while to scoop up the sides push everything down so that's why I prefer using this right now so uh, we're going to put this on and I'm going to show you every once in a while I'm going to take it off and show you what it looks like I don't want to just keep you sitting here and watching me blend this. Also, it takes a long time, so have some patience, guys. Okay, this is what I mean. How it just kind of gathers up, so you got to go in there with a spoon, break it all down. And we put it back on. back and let it run again you're gonna keep doing this and you're gonna see I need a better spatula Hold on. let me try this one again. yeah you're gonna see it's gonna start getting a little wetter a little wetter till it becomes almost oily but you do have to have a little bit of patience guys back in I know you're gonna say it's so much work but trust me when I tell you that it is gonna be worth it at this point you could even put that little bit of salt it'll kind of make it a little more uh, workable so I put about that much salt I don't have my measure sorry let me just zoom out a bit hold on guys let me just start over before I put that in okay I'm right up your face hey sorry about that guys okay I don't have my measuring spoon but I use about that much salt I like salt in my sweets anyhow because what it does salt actually brings out the sweetness even more so it gives you that nice I don't know if you ever had that popcorn that's got the caramel and the salt that's what I like so if I have a little too much salt it's not the end of the world for me okay and now I am going to put this back because we want this really blended guys keep breaking it down you can see it's getting wet I could have put the coconut oil now, but I prefer doing that at the end. And now I'm going to show you every time I mix it, so this way you have an idea of what to look for. But you do want this nice and wet. start seeing the oils now being extracted you could tell if you look at the bottom here you can see it's getting nice and oily and it's working when you see that it's getting wetter and wetter it's gonna kind of collapse on its own so you can let it run a little longer the machine otherwise you know when it's time to just stop it and knock everything over 
because it's just not moving. The stuff inside is not moving. So you do have to stop and knock things down. But when it starts working and you see that everything is falling into itself while it's blending, you know that it's starting to get closer to what you want. Okay, now I'm going to add a few ingredients to this. We're going to add powder sugar because regular sugar will just crystallize on you and it's not going to work, guys. And I need one third cup. Now, this is the way we like it, but if you want it less, by all means, use less sugar. You can use only a quarter cup if you want. All right. Okay. Coconut oil. We're going to need one. And I do need my spoons. Where did I put them? Here they are. Now, this is just going to help. Here we go. Okay, we have one and about a half. Okay, one and a half tablespoon of coconut oil. If you get a little extra, it's not the end of the world. So, we're going to mix this and see where it takes us. Notice how everything is getting nice and creamy and watery. That's exactly what you want. Now, you could run this a little more or you could put it straight into the neutral bullet now. Okay, let me just get it. And that's going to get it nice and creamy. I know, we have to dirty two things to make some Nutella. But I'll tell you, it is worth every drop. Now remember, salt, you could put as little as you want or as much as you want. We're going to add a few more ingredients to this. And then, bang, we have Nutella, guys. Now, if you keep this in the fridge, it's going to get really firm. If you want to keep it in the fridge, then I say, uh, don't make it as thick. I like to keep mine room temperature. I never kept my Nutella in the fridge. I used to keep it room temperature. And if you make small batches like this, it'll be done in no time anyhow. Especially if you have a family that loves Nutella. And it's not something that we do often. This is a treat. But you can make... Uh, Italian crustata out of this. If you don't know what crustata is, it's a uh, it's like a flat cake. My mom used to either put jam on top or she used to put Nutella. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna add some cacao, and we're gonna need one, two, and a half. Okay, now I use a little bit of xanthan gum. I say about an eighth of a teaspoon. Uh, yes, an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. What that does is doesn't make the oils separate on you. It keeps everything binded. But another little trick you can use but I also use um, I put it in anyhow even if I do use a xanthan gum is use a little bit of margarine and that's gonna help kind of keep everything together there we go we've got one kind of two heaping teaspoons of margarine now we're gonna run this through the machine I might just put a little pinch more of salt, only because I like it salty, but that's up to you. Okay. I would have used my, uh, sorry, Vitamix, but I hate having to dig at the bottom, so I prefer using a Nutribullet, guys. Okay, make sure everything goes down to the bottom. Hard time with it. Okay. 
Okay, at this point, you want to make sure. Notice how it's all turning into Nutella. Uh, at this point, you want to give your machine a break because it is a little thick and you want to get it creamy to the point where you, do, you don't see any niblets. Now, if you feel that you might not be able to pull that off with your Nutribullet, keep using your food processor as much as you can and then you can use the Nutribullet. <laughs> Still have to keep going. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little extra margarine. That's gonna help with the blending. Remember to give that machine a break, guys, otherwise you will burn it out. you can do uh, if you find that it's going to be too hard for you to uh, or your, your machine is not powerful enough don't use all the nuts in the beginning uh, use less nuts put all the other ingredients together and you're going to have more of a liquidy um, Nutella but then you can add the balance of the nuts at the end once it's nice and creamy so that's going to make your life a little easier <laughs> Should be good and there is our beautiful beautiful Nutella creamy creamy okay we're gonna put it in our beautiful jar now remember if you don't want it as thick as this you can make it less thick by just adding less nuts to your recipe maybe add a quarter cup less nuts if you want it you don't want it to stick and if you see that it's way too water for you give it a break there if you want it less if you want this less thick I say add less nuts that'll do it and if you see that your result is way too watery for you then just put some in the blender add some nuts to it the rest of the nuts you want to back add back in and then you're done but I find this is the perfect texture it's not runny and it's as close to the Nutella I remember it's been a long time since I bought Nutella uh, I don't know any <laughs> that has Nutella at home for me to check but it is really really yummy right now you'll see that it's a little runnier and as it sits it will get nice and thick but you do need the food processor and then a neutral bullet but if you're okay with fighting with your Vitamix I hate getting to the bottom of my Vitamix that's for sure so I try not to use it for small batches like this so the only time i really use my vitamix is when i'm making uh, either smoothies or large batches of cheese or if i'm making a cake there we go guys so there you go a beautiful recipe of nutella and i promise you you will not regret this you should have some of this with some peanut butter 
as a treat just as a treat you don't want to sit there and eat this all day long but I leave mine on the counter and again I'm gonna show you the one I do have on the counter my hands are a little oily let me just give it a wash there we go that's the one that where did I put my this is the one that I have already made that's the texture you're gonna get now if you find this is way too firm for you then use less nuts than I put in the recipe but this is how I remember I remember Nutella being spreadable I remember as a child it wasn't even Nutella as a child my mom I don't know where she found it but it it came in like a paint bucket you know when you buy paint that kind of pale and she came home and she put it on the table for us well for us it was for me and my sister Gabby because Andy wasn't wasn't around then and I read chocolate in the front oh my god when she opened that up my eyes almost popped out of my head because we growing up we didn't have desserts like that we didn't have any junk food there was no such thing as chips cakes and stuff my mom would uh, make like a, a cake and we would have some but it was only occasions we never ate cake during the week or unless it was an occasion so when she came home with that bucket and then she told me she bought that bucket because she uh, but it wasn't Nutella it was just plain chocolate she bought it to make crustada which is uh, basically a cake it was for like she was making it for Easter it was just a cake it's a very flat cake that you make on a cookie sheet and then you spread Nutella on it or chocolate and then you make these ribbons of dough that goes on onto the top like in um, a lattice and but she made sure that my sister Gabby and I would get to taste that chocolate it was so good and I'll never forget that so as we uh, grew up and Nutella came into the picture and it was only after I was married that I really buy Nutella before that at home when I was with my mom we never had stuff like that we didn't have junk food in the house uh, when she used to work she used to work at the hospital she used to come home once in a while at night on a Friday she used to go to cafeteria and buy us uh, small containers of orange uh, sherbet ice cream and that's something that she brought home for us and we looked forward to trust me every friday me and my sisters would wait up for my mom because she used to work the afternoon shift so she would only get home at midnight and we would wait up for that ice cream and it was so good so kind of making things like this brings me back to my childhood uh not that we had it but it was such a luxury when we did get something like this it was like we were god knows <laughs> what we got it was like the best thing ever today kids you give them something that's dessert and it's like it doesn't even phase on them but we we really appreciate it when we got something like a piece of cake that your mother made and it was only holidays guys when i tell you it was holidays it was holidays so it's nice to be able to uh, make something but it's also nice not to overindulge in it so a little bit goes a long way guys so there you go I hope you try my recipe I know it's a little extra work because you got to use the food processor and then you got to use a blender but I find that's the way you're gonna get it the creamiest so I say use the food processor first when you see that it's already getting gooey and creamy and almost like oily like uh, then put it in a blender I hope you give it a try guys when you enjoy that first little bit of Nutella especially if you haven't had it for a while because you're vegan or you became vegan and you say oh my god I can't have Nutella anymore well you can it is just as delicious if not better and I'm gonna say thank you for following me I appreciate all you guys that follow me I can't believe I'm almost at 89,000 subscribers. You guys brought me to this point. I am so happy. I'm so excited. I can't wait till I get 100. And I'm looking forward for that day. And it's all because of you guys. I'm going to say I love you. And remember, if you try, come back. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you want to be part of Patreon, where you get free PDF files from me, Go ahead, join me on Patreon, and I'm going to say I love you, and I'm going to see you in the next video, guys. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.